Sonia Taye is a dance teacher and jazz and contemporary choreographer from Detroit, Michigan best known for being a choreographer on the television series So You Think You Can Dance. In 2013, she was nominated for an Emmy Award for her work on season 9. Taye was a house dancer during her teenage years and she did not start any formal dance training until she was 18 and a student at Wayne State University. After graduating in 2002, she moved to California and ran a dance company in San Francisco where she developed her own style of choreography which she calls combat jazz. In 2007, she was discovered by a talent agent from McDonald's Selzik Associates who saw a performance she choreographed for the carnival, choreographer Euro unregistered trademark S. Ball. Three months after being signed, she booked a job on So You Think You Can Dance. Since gaining mainstream exposure, Taye has choreographed for Madonna, Florence and the Machine, Kelly Minogue, the Los Angeles Ballet, Martha Graham Dance Company and the San Jose Repertory Theatre. Aside from theatre and tours, she stays active teaching jazz and contemporary classes at dance conventions. Life and career. Equals early life and education equals, Taye was born in Brooklyn, New York and raised in Detroit, Michigan. She has two sisters and one half-brother. Taye started dancing at age 15 when she began frequenting hip-hop and house dance parties with her sister. She started studying ballet and modern dance a Euro as a subject a Euro at age 17 when she was a student at Henry Ford Community College. Although Taye was a freestyle house dancer in her youth, she didn't take any formal dance classes until she was 18 and a student at Wayne State University. Before starting her training, she was denied by six dance studios who wouldn't let her take classes because they felt she was too old. In addition to her classes, Taye was a member of Counter Groove and Full Circle Dance Companies. During her time at Wayne State, Taye drew on dance history, anatomy, and performance to develop a style that is built on core strength, aggressive partner interaction, and quirky, stylized movements. She graduated Wayne State in 2002 with a bachelor's degree in dance. Equals dance career and mainstream exposure equals, Taye honed her style of combat jazz over the course of four years while co-directing the Dance Company of San Francisco with her friend and colleague Chris Jacobson. An alumnus of the Dance Company of San Francisco is Nick Lazarini who won the first season of So You Think You Can Dance. When the company closed in 2007, Taye moved to Los Angeles and started a dance company called Taye Dance. In an interview with Dance Spirit magazine she stated that she named the company in honor of her father who died when she was young. In Los Angeles, she was discovered by talent agent Andrew Jacobs from McDonald's Selzik Associates. Jacobs saw a performance that Taye choreographed at the carnival, choreographer Euro unregistered trademark S. Ball. After he approached her, Taye invited him and the rest of the MSA staff to see The Root of Me a Euro a show she directed and choreographed that the carnival performance was taken from. The day after the viewing, Taye was signed to MSA. Three months after being signed, she was booked as a choreographer for So You Think You Can Dance. Since gaining mainstream exposure, Taye has choreographed tours and all live events for Madonna, Florence and the Machine, Kelly Minogue, Curly, and Miley Cyrus. She has also choreographed for Steed Lord and spent three years in residence with the Los Angeles Ballet. In 2010, she choreographed indie singer Lucy Schwartz's music video Graveyard. Taye choreographed the rock musical The Last Goodbye which is based on Romeo and Juliet and set to a soundtrack of music by Jeff Buckley. It premiered in 2010, but a revised version of the show with a new cast opened in September 2013 at the Old Globe Theatre in San Diego. California. In 2011, she choreographed another musical called Spring Awakening for the San Jose Reparatory Theatre. In 2014, she choreographed an off-Broadway play based on Bruce Lee's life called Kung Fu. It premiered February 24 with So You Think You Can Dance alumnus Cole Horai playing the lead role. In 2015 Martha Graham Dance Company commissioned a new work by Sonia Taye which she set to the music of Meredith Monk. It premiered in the company's New York season at the Joyce, Spring 2015 and has been performed by the company while on tour. Choreography for So You Think You Can Dance 
equals teaching equals, Taiye is a faculty member at the Edge Performing Arts Center in Los Angeles. She has also taught classes at the Hip Drop Dance Complex, Monsters of Contemporary, Broadway Dance Center, 24-7 Dance, Hall of Fame Dance Challenge, Loyola Marymount University, NUVO, and Spotlight Dance Works. Style and Influences Taiye describes her choreography style as combat jazz because in her words, I, Taiyuro unregistered trademark S staccato, aggressive, and engaged, even when Eta Euro unregistered trademark S slow. SanJose.com characterized it as fearless, provocative and unique. She has several influences which include two of her former college professors Diane Mancinelli and Erica Wilson Perkins, Broadway choreographer Twyla Thalp and Bill T. Jones. Mexican artist Frida Kahlo, her favorite choreographer J.R. and registered trademark Achillea N., and her family. In addition, she calls competitive hip-hop dancer Sela her idol, and Icelandic singer Japaragraph R.K. her ultimate hero. Awards and recognition In January 2009, Taye was named one of Dance Magazine's 25 to watch. In 2010, she was honored by the Detroit Arts Council and she made the December cover of Dance Teacher magazine. At Wayne State University there is a scholarship named after her called the Sonia Taye Endowment Fund that is awarded to students who want to pursue a degree in dance. In July 2013, Taye was nominated for an Emmy Award for Outstanding Choreography for Possibly Maybe, Turning Page, and Sale Euro 3 routines she choreographed on Season 9 of So You Think You Can Dance. At the 2013 Primetime Emmy Awards ceremony, she joined the other seven choreography nominees and created a routine honoring dance that was performed just before the Outstanding Choreography Award was presented. 2013 was the first year the Outstanding Choreography Award was presented at the Primetime Emmy's telecast rather than at the Creative Arts Emmy ceremony which takes place a week prior. References